this video, you guys, I'm really excited about. So I have some really good loot to show you and I'm really here for it. I've been kind of down on my hauls lately and I'm super excited for this one. So hopefully you guys love it too and are on board with all the cool old loot that I found. So I found all of this stuff um, just between three stores and I think that the math came to like about $60, something like that, 55, um, that I spent overall for everything. And that's including like discounts and um, like coupons and stuff that I had. So the first place that I went was hospice. Um, not the one that I like down south, actually there's a local hospice. It's not as good, but still good. Um, so Willow and I actually went two days ago and we found some stuff. They have like so much good stuff in the case, but it's like expensive. So I'm kind of have my eye on a bunch of stuff that hopefully they mark down and then we can go back and snag. But for now, I'll show you the things that came home with us. Um, the first thing is this cool little vase. Um, brass, obviously. Very like rough around the edges, but look how cool. There's like this lady I don't know, it almost looks like maybe like Hindu. If you happen to know like what this image is, please let me know. I would love to know because I just think this is so unique and so beautiful. Um, and I'm gonna have to do a good amount of research to figure this out. So if you know, please tell me. Um, but it's cool, right? Like it's very textural and just old and pretty. I feel like my toxic trait is that I always buy brass, but I don't know if it sells that well for me. Like it kind of does. Some of it does, some of it doesn't. I don't know, but I can't pass up cool brass. So I grabbed this. It was only $4. So I felt like it was worth, I felt like it was worth $4 also. So yeah, we grabbed it. It came home with us. And then we found some really cute salt and pepper shakers that I was like really, really, really excited about. So the first are these two little guys. So this little lady and this man, and she's like winking at him. Maybe she should go like that on that side. So she's winking at him and he's like looking at her. I don't know, I just like love it. I think they're so cute. So it says salt and pepper on the top. Um, they're wood, obviously. They have their little Japan mark in there hand painted and just adorable. So, 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 so stinking cute. So it is gonna be hard to part with them, but they will be on Etsy. And then I have another set of little faces as well. So these are ceramic S&P, um, but really good shape, like no chips, cracks, anything. There's like a little, that's not like a chip or a crack, it's just like a little mark. And they also have their stoppers in, say, Japan on the bottom. So I don't think these were used. I'm pretty sure, like, neither set were used. They're just kind of cute and were enjoyed. So anyway, I love finding, like, little people like this. Like, their little faces are so charming, especially older ones, obviously. So that was very exciting. Really, really happy about that. So that was the first place that I went. And then yesterday... Um, Jordan and Willow and I went to two thrift stores. We went to um, the Salvation Army and then we ended with Goodwill. So Salvation Army is very hit or miss by us. It's usually like all broken trash, but it is pretty inexpensive for the most part. Um, and it's really big. So I like going to big thrift stores because I feel like you get like a little, spend a little bit more time there. Most of our thrift stores are really small, so it's like in and out, in and out, in and out, and that's just hard with a baby. So I thought, all right, we'll go to the Salvation Army. We can walk around. There's a lot of stuff to see. Um, the first thing I found is this Italian um, ceramic planter. So I did wash the inside. It's still pretty rough, um, but you know, that's like from the soil. But look how beautiful this little bird is. Isn't he cool? So it is marked Italy at the bottom. Um, I don't know, I think someone's gonna love this. It's in really good shape, like these little corners are rough, um, like a little bit rough, but otherwise like no chips or cracks, there's a little bit of crazing on the inside, but who cares? 
It's awesome. So I got that at Salvation Army. That was $2. Um, oh, the, the salt and peppers were $5 each, so 10 total. And then the, oh, then I got this little picture frame from the Salvation Army. It's seed beads, so I thought it was just really cool, kind of like geometric shapes. Um, it's definitely an older one. It's kind of got like the satin backing, um, but I just thought it was really unique and cool. I always see like these seed bead type purses, which actually do sell pretty well. So I was excited to find the picture frame because I just thought that was really funky and unique. So I grabbed that, that was $2, I'm pretty sure. And then I got a little um, egg cup. So this I probably, like previous me, probably wouldn't have grabbed this, but I actually just sold um, an English egg cup from my own personal collection. Um, so this is marked uh, England on the bottom. It's by Adams and yeah, I just sold one of these from my own collection that was actually broken. Um, obviously I, you know, included that in the listing, but I was pretty surprised that it still sold even though it was broken. It wasn't exactly the same as this. The one I had was blue and white, but I don't know. I just really like this. There's a ton of crazing and it's definitely like darkened the piece overall, but I think that's kind of cool. Um, I love the detail at the top, the flowers, and then of course like this like turquoise is really beautiful. So anyhow, we'll give this a shot. It's probably not worth a whole bunch, obviously, but I just thought it was pretty and hopefully somebody will want it. <laughs> okay, so those are the three things I got from Salvation Army and then I killed it at Goodwill, like killed it. Um, yeah, so this Goodwill's a little bit more expensive. I feel like it's kind of like trying to do like a Goodwill boutique vibe, but that's okay because I still get my 20% off on all of their stuff. And once you spend $100, you get a $10 um, off, off for your next purchase. So I had a $10 off and it like accumulates. Like you don't have to spend, whoa, sorry, I'm like shaking the camera really bad. You don't have to spend $100 all at once. It's just like once you do, like if you spend $10 10 times, then eventually you do like earn your $100 or your $10 off like coupon. And um, you can use it on your next purchase. And yeah, there's no like minimum purchase either. So that's fun too. Anyway, I had a $10 coupon. I used it and I had my 20% off, so all was well with the world. Um, the first thing I nabbed is this vintage 1970s little vase. I first kind of walked on this because it on the shelf, like mixed with all the trash, it doesn't really look like anything, but once you kind of get it away from all the mess, it actually is really, really pretty. Um, very simple, like hand-painted stripes, just a lovely design. It's by Toyo. Um, and then this is um, designed by Jill Rosenwald. So yeah, really cool. I really like that. Um, that was $5, I'm pretty sure. Then I got this little hand-painted, um, I think it's like, I want to say, I don't know. I want to say maybe, uh, I don't want to like mess it up, but I think like maybe from Switzerland, possibly somewhere around there, <laughs> someplace Nordic, um, but it's wood and it's beautiful. I love the little flowers. I just love the hand painting. Um, it says Innsbruck on the back of it. And yeah, I just... Love it for like rings and things. I just love it. So I feel like I want to, um, I get like lazy with my ring dishes and I just have the same ones always. Then I get bored with them and I'm like, no, I need to switch them around. And I keep finding all these cute little like ring dishes. So this should be something I should use until it sells. Um, that was $2.99. Um, then I found this hilarious little pitcher. This is probably the only thing that I like for sure I'm keeping, well, no, there's a couple things I'm, well, you know me, I, guys, I'm a mess. I always end up keeping things I shouldn't keep, but I really want this. Um, 
It says Great Smoky Mountains, and it's this like derpy bear. He's super awesome. I love it. It's really crazed and messed up. And then on the back, it has this like really awesome little like poem for lefties, and I'm a lefty. Um, and it says, I'm a left-handed pitcher made specially for you. I'm quite original and practical too. A southpaw pitcher to bring you good cheer with luck and happiness for many a year. So I just love it. I love it. I'm going to stick it in my very sad empty cabinet <laughs> that I still have yet to fill. Um, hopefully by the time you guys see this video, this poor sad cabinet has some stuff in it. But anyway, I love bears. Um, I love like Smoky Mountain and like um, National Park like souvenirs. And obviously I'm a Southpaw, so I just love it. Gotta keep it. Um, another, that was, I wanna say $3, I wanna say. Um, then I found this awesome driftwood bowl like so beautiful look at that it's stunning um just think it's so so cool this is so useful this is something that like if i was smart i would keep <laughs> because i'm trying to actually you know like tone down the insanity of our house but as you watch my haul you know i just can't resist like the most eclectic things <laughs> Um, but I am going to list it on Etsy because I don't have a great place for it and I just think it's beautiful. So this was only $3, I think, um, or five, something like that. But anyway, beautiful, right? Like so useful. Super excited whenever I find those guys. Um, then I found this German piece, which is really cool. Um, it's by Kaiser of Germany and it's very ornate so you know i don't know if this is necessarily like my particular style but i do absolutely love things that are super ornate and detailed and i just think this is beautiful um it's just so well thought out so i love the handles they're little swans and then on both sides there's hand painted like floral motifs that are different on both sides and they are really pretty against this like super dark cobalt and then the bottom has like four little flowers on the four corners. So I just thought it was so pretty. Um, this was $10. So I feel like it's well worth $10. I don't know. I thought it was really beautiful. Oh man. Um, then I found this little Indian box. I always pick these up as long as they're in pretty good shape. Um, I'll probably, it has like a, I'm missing a little bit of black paint so I'll probably just touch that up and then note it in the listing um but I just thought it was so pretty look at that I love these this is a nice big one too I love the big ones because they're just so much more useful but the detail on this is just oh it's so good right so that was like five dollars I think I don't know um, then I found this little bowl. I think I might keep this just because like, I feel like let, listing this on Etsy is kind of dumb because it's not like highly valuable. I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, it's just this little hand painted pottery bowl, but I feel like, and you guys tell me if you ever do this, but do you ever like look on Pinterest or Instagram and you find a kitchen or something that just speaks to you and you love it. And then you kind of try to like, take it apart a little bit and figure out like okay what are all the pieces that are part of this picture that make it special like why do i look at it and have this like you know emotional connection to this picture and then i try to like deconstruct it almost so a lot of the like vintage vintage style like kitchens that i see have like open shelving and then like a bunch of beautiful like old pottery that kind of like doesn't match but it all sort of goes and so i figured this just kind of spoke to me as like going along with that vibe i love the green um so i don't know necessarily if that's like 100 percent gonna be something i keep or something i let go of but anyway that's kind of like what my heart was telling me when I found it that's like my backstory so that was three dollars and it is handmade um so that always you know that's always important to me 
Um, then I found this little frame, which I am going to keep because Jordan and I were both just talking about how we want to put some pictures of Willow out. And um, I just got a bunch of pictures from Walgreens from my phone. So um, this was only a dollar. Like, aren't they crazy? But it's super old. I love the like super dainty detail at the top. And look at the sides. Like the whole sides are like these beautiful flowers um, that are like embossed into the brass. Look at that. Is that beautiful? And then <laughs> looking at the back, you can tell this thing is quite old. So I'm so excited to put a little picture of Shmoo in here. I love it. Um, so yeah, I do have to keep that because that is very useful vintage. Um, then I found this lovely Mason's England plate. Um, this was $7. So I haven't done any research on this, but I have found some other plates that are similar to this that I think I've sold on Etsy. Um, I don't know. So hopefully I didn't pay $7 for no reason, but we'll see. <laughs> I thought it was pretty though. I can't remember like how much I sold my other one for, so, or if it even did sell, or if it's even listed. <laughs> I do have another one like this though. I just don't know where it is or what happened to it. Sounds about right. Um, then I found this really weird brass thing. Um, I don't know what it's for. Hopefully it's not for anything negative, but I thought it was super cool. Um, it's this brass egg and the top comes off. So I'm just gonna take the top off for our sanity so it doesn't come flying off and breaking all my stuff, but it has these little rams. And I just thought they were really cool and it has like their little feet. And it's made in India and I just thought it was cool. I don't know, I just really liked it. and. I looked it up when I got home and they are selling for quite a bit. So I love like really unique brass like this and things that are useful that you can like put stuff in. So I thought that was really fun. Hopefully, hopefully somebody else agrees. <laughs> that was $10. Um, then I found this really pretty Italian plate. Um, it's very like rough and rustic. It has a lot of like sort of, I want, I don't want to say chips, but like manufacturing flaws, like bubbles in the glaze basically from just like the way it was made. And I just thought it was so pretty. Um, I really loved the green on the outside and I loved the like feel and the texture of the pottery. It's just like very tactile and just awesome. And the bow is so nice. Like this would match so many people's decor. And it is marked Italy on the back. So this was $3, not too shabby. Um, and all right, we're doing good. I only have one thing left to show you. So the last thing is this pottery box. Um, I've been trying to look up the maker of this and I cannot find it. I'm going to keep researching. I hate researching pottery marks. Like, oh my goodness, I'm in a pottery mark group on Facebook. So I might have to beg them to help me um, because this is just so beautiful. So some of the stickers still on there, but there's this beautiful crackle glaze. And then look at the top. Like, it's just so unique. It's this like really, really unique. I don't even know. Like, it's just beautiful. Um, there's some like little flea bites around the very top in the glaze, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, it's glazed completely on the inside. And I'll show you the marking. It looks like a like DR or like DR with like maybe a K included also. It's hard to tell. But I looked up DR and I did not find anything. But if you know anything, please tell me because I just feel like this is something. 
<laughs> Do you ever have that feeling like you just find something and you're like, I feel like this is something special, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, so yeah, $7 for that. So that's pretty good. I almost, the, do you ever feel like you bought a bunch of stuff from like the same person, like the same person donated a whole bunch of like cool old pottery and now you are the owner of it? <laughs> Cause that's sort of how I feel at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is my little haul guys. I'm super excited to share it with you. I hope you loved it. Cause I, I love all this stuff. It's so fun. Um, anyway, Hopefully I'll fill my cabinet up soon and I hope that everybody has a wonderful week and goodbye.